The number of gun deaths here in the city of Lansing compared to last year is down to about 40 percent. But the Lansing Police Department say gun violence is still an issue they're working hard to resolve. Take a look. Telling their a family member that their loved one has lost their life to a violent act is never an easy conversation. Lansing Police Department Assistant Chief Rob Backus says throughout his 20 year career in law enforcement, he's been at the center of that emotional conversation far too many times. It's just a raw emotional event. The Lansing Police Department says gun violence has been plaguing Lansing for quite some time. So far this year, we're told there's been 42 non-fatal shootings in the city compared to the 45 around this time last year. But while non-fatal shootings have not changed much, the number of gun deaths has decreased. So far this year, Lansing police have reported nine gun deaths compared to the 15 around this time last year. One of those nine people who died was 20-year-old Tamah Shasi, and we caught up with his mom as she explained the last moments leading to her son's death. Tamas walked up to them, confronted the 16-year-old, which is the kid who did not have the gun, and they kind of got into like a physical fight, like Tamas punched him and the kid punched him back, and then they fell to the ground, and then the other kid who was the 14 year old pulled a gun out and started shooting Tamaz. Both teens are now facing charges for Tamaz's death, but police say teens being involved in Lansing shootings is nothing new, whether they're the ones pulling the trigger or being killed. Out of the nine gun deaths in Lansing so far this year, five of them were teens. One death of gun violence is too many because I know the pain of a parent that lost a child. Michael McKissick started the Mikey 23 Foundation in 2015 in honor of his son Mikey, who was shot and killed at the young age of 23. The organization focuses on teaching kids skill trades and mentoring. We try to come together and try to reach out to the youth and let them know that, listen, um, what can we do for you? You know, so we have to listen to them. Because a lot of times we don't listen to our youth. We always thinking we know what they need and we don't. So we really have to reach out to them and ask them, what do you want us from? What do you want from us? Lansing police say organizations like the Mikey 23 Foundation help officers do their jobs better. And so by the police interacting with the youth in these programs, we're building relationships. And those relationships are key for us solving crimes or addressing crime later on down the road. Now, one thing to know is a lot of these shootings are still unsolved. And remember, if you know anything, it's never too late for you to do the right thing. And you never know, the information you give police may be able to help bring some families closure. For now, I'm your Southside Lansing neighborhood reporter here in Lansing, Larry Wallace, Fox 47 News.